Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to record your screen on the iPhone or iPad, any of the iOS devices. I've had a great number of requests for this video, so I'm going to hit a couple of the most popular and simplest ways to do this. The way I use this now, guys, to record my screen recordings that you see here me using at this moment, I'm using Reflector to get my device onto my Mac and then I'm using ScreenFlow to record the screen and the audio at the same time. Now, if you don't have ScreenFlow, then you're going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage, but still there's a way to do it. If you have QuickTime, you can record the audio and video at the same time using QuickTime. Now, here are the apps I'm using. Reflector, you see right here. Uh, it's very, it's a very simple app. Uh, I'll have the download link in the description below. You can get it for PC or Mac, either one. You simply just download it, and then it puts your, streams your iOS device to your uh, Mac or PC. All you have to do is open up your iPhone, and right here where it says AirDrop, you see where mine says Mitch's iMac. I'm just simply choosing Mitch's iMac and choosing to mirror. Okay, if that's not on, then you see the screen is just blank. That's what it looks like without reflector playing. If I enable mirroring, it will bring that back. That's simple and easy. Now, that's, that's the simple way and fast way to do this. Now, if you don't have reflector or uh, screen flow, then you know screen flow is about a hundred bucks you can use quicktime so keep that in mind guys and to use quicktime all you have to do come over here to file and in here you would click new screen recording and new audio recording okay if you click movie recording that's going to record the camera from your pc or mac so keep that in mind so you'll have to actually record audio and screen at the same time, you'll have to click both those record buttons and then import that into an editing, maybe iMovie or something like that, to edit it to get it to work, you know, and it would work just the same. But now if you're fortunate enough to have screen flow, then you can just open up your, when, when you finish, you can open your screen recording up and just edit it right inside the screen flow. Very simple. Okay guys, now another awesome way to record your device without being jailbroken using your device only is through a little app called iRec Beta. But now to get this, you're going to have to install a new iOS store on your device. It's called EMU for iOS Store. And I'll have that link in the description. So you'll simply just tap Install and then just hit OK and install for everything that pops up. It's all safe. Keep that in mind. And then once you get EMU iOS Store open, then it'll be on your springboard. Tap it to open like so. And inside there, you're going to have a list of different apps you can choose from. That If you want to play around with some of these later on, you can. But we're interested in IREC Beta. You want to tap Install and go ahead and let that install and once it installs then you're going to open it up and you're going to have to first of all name your recording like so all right guys on the uh air, air display it wouldn't let me record and stream at the same time so i'm going to have to show you using this method now we're going to open up irec beta and we're going to name our new recording and I'm just going to name it my name and I'm going to hit start recording now you see up here at the top we have the little red banner that's telling us that it's recording and the good thing about this uh, app guys is it, it records video and audio too so as you can see we're swiping through some different things we'll open up some websites this is where we were earlier and the only thing about this now guys if you're going to record any full screen any full screen games uh you're going to have to enable assistive touch the little round circle on your screen that lets you control your home screen and stuff 
because it, you won't be able to enable this if you don't. So keep that in mind. So coming in here, we're going to open this back up and we're going to touch stop and it'll merge and it'll take just a second to come through. And now when we go into our recordings down here at the bottom, we have two with the same name looks like. But See, we're swiping okay. through some different things. We'll open up some websites. This is where we were earlier. And the only thing about this now, guys, if you're going to record any full strength, any full. Now, just keep in mind, now, guys, if you're going to record any kind of full screen video games, you're going to have to turn assistive touch on. And to do that, you're going to have to go into settings, general accessibility, and you're going to come down here to assistive touch right here and you're just simply going to flip that on and it's going to put the little dot on your screen pretty cool little tweak guys definitely check it out it's not a tweak it's an app don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this video with everybody and keep coming back